Stanford professor Dr. Gary Nolan and the Soul Foundation, which he is a co-founder of, have finally released their long-awaited first video from their very first conference that they held back in November 2023. Now, what is the Soul Foundation? It was founded by David Grush and Dr. Gary Nolan to study UAPs and in turn help our government with legislation about UAP. So it's a nonprofit that was sort of started to get contracts from the government, right, and help them um, draft legislation that might help us with UAP disclosure, right? So it's basically to study UFOs, aliens, and, and all of that. And it brings together some of the greatest minds um, that are in the field of ufology. And honestly, I would say, tangentially in the field of ufology so they're in another field but they may you know kind of every once in a while dip their toes in over here um so i mean look you've got you ha you had a lot of people at this uh conference and everyone's been waiting for this these videos to come out um and there's been some issues um with that and whatever it's done and the video's out so let's take a look at it um Stick around to the end after this first video I'm going to show you because I've got a second um, clip of a Twitter space that Dr. Gary Nolan did. Um, I know many people have not heard this, so where he's going to go into detail about working with David Grush and what they're doing currently with the Soul Foundation. All right. And he also, just as a spoiler here, kind of um, shouts out Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, Carl Nell, David Grush, and, and, and kind of wishes they could get in a debate together and he's got some uh, pretty strong comments about how that would debate how that debate would uh, end up so without further ado let's dive in if you're new to the channel you like content like this please hit that subscribe button y'all we put out a new video every day 12 p.m central standard time i do not miss a day and of course please hit that like button y'all that really helps out the videos so thank you vetters for all the support there and of course, comment down below, what do you think about the Soul Foundation as a whole? And does this video, you know, give you promise and hope for what's to come um, in the study of UAPs and UAP disclosure, if you will, UAP transparency. So let's get this video going. The Soul Foundation is an institute of research that funds and guides um, uh, research in sciences, the social sciences, the humanities, and that also produces uh, policy and advisory research that is aimed to illumine and help us clear up what's going on with the UAP issue and also prepare us to deal with the social implications of it. I come from a tradition in science of taking from multiple different fields of science and thought simultaneously and synthesizing them into something new you create and you invent. I'm a tinkerer by nature, and so here we are tinkering with uh, the reality of what this might actually mean. We also are putting together what we call a whole of society approach that engages all institutions and kinds of people so that we can deal with what may promise to be a very world-changing issue uh, in a way that involves everyone. Here you now have uh, everybody realizing that it's possible to talk about this uh, and that they're not going to be booed out of the room. Uh, welcome to California. Welcome to Stanford. The objective here is to legitimize and professionalize and then to seek from you uh, your ideas. We know from our private life that finding a partner provides a meaning to our existence. The same holds for finding a partner in outer space. Suddenly, the universe will not appear to be lonely. A lot of individuals who previously thought that they were alone in their thought or their belief system suddenly finding that they had many other individuals with whom they could speak. And so now the networks are forming and we hope that this will catalyze an opportunity for others to basically step forward instead of us or along with us. Not sure I'm aware of any sort of think tank organizations in recent years at the level of soul. I mean, in terms of the people that they have attracted to the organization, not just the founders, but people associated with it, the people here at this conference. 
I've been going to conferences for 22 years and I've never been to one at the level of this one. So I think it's really unique. Everyone here in the audience has uh, kind of praised it as the best event they've seen on this. And they've told us that everyone who needs to be here is here speaking uh, and that the audience is composed of just as many important people. This is why we have the Soul Foundation. Uh, we need to basically create a parallel track of uh, research and you know independent discoveries that aren't necessarily dependent on the U.S. government to provide us all the answers. Before the, the space program, people felt that we couldn't even go into space, you know, that human beings were tied to the Earth. Yeah. Now we have over 500 people have actually flown in orbit, okay? Uh, and so it's not uh, something that's unthinkable anymore. It's something people do. Okay. So uh, the, the stigma has been removed. Imagine if you could actually use some kind of technique to search for unidentified objects that are non-human. Our goal is to search for a specific identifiable signature from an ET probe or non-human object. It's, it's an absolute perfect moment for Seoul to get involved because we need policymakers to be advised on this, right? I mean, they want to do the right thing. There are many of many members of Congress who want more transparency, but the more information they can get from the brilliant people associated with Seoul, the better it is. So I think the moment is perfect. The fact that they're acknowledging it, whereas before, you know, there's been rumors that NASA didn't want to do anything and other people didn't. But I think there's kind of like a crescendo or something's coming where now we can all get behind it and I think if we can get this into more mainstream academia, I think it will help with a lot. The more academics in, uh, that are writing papers, uh, the broader the base of interest is going to become, and I think that's another really important aspect of what Seoul is doing. What one learns when one gets in this field is that you end up with more collaborators, more supporters, and uh, more offers of help than you would get if you were working on something conventional. What they're really just trying to do is foster a coalition of the willing to, uh, to properly identify what's going on. I think there's been other groups that have done this, but not at, not at the scale of which Saul is trying to do this. The Saul Foundation is something that we've all been dreaming for a long time, and I, I think it's a the appropriate way to, to call attention to the problem and to, 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 to gather the energy that we're going to need to go forward. Anybody who will bring something forward in a manner that is logical and non-hyperbolic, uh, we want to hear from them. The influence that Seoul can have in terms of bringing in the academic community and, and drawing these people in and creating papers that academics can read it's going to expand the base of people that become aware of this situation, of the UAP issue, and it might draw in other intelligent people that haven't been exposed to it so far. When this conversation develops and when the issue develops, we're always there to uh, 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 provide answers because we were asking the questions that people are today, five, ten years before. We're on the precipice of feeling that we are both smaller and larger than what we thought we were before smaller in that there's a greater uh, sense of intelligences that might be out there, and so therefore we're one of many. But, uh, so that can make you feel small, but then bigger by knowing that you're as part of a community. There we go, y'all. What do we think? That was pretty fascinating, um, if you ask me. Right, uh, it's a great video. So looking forward to the presentations. If you noticed in that video, there were several people speaking and several presentations, right? Um, and I'm sure they did some interviews, right? Behind the scenes, you could tell that they edited. So there's gonna be a lot of content to come out from this. And I'm very much looking forward to some of these presentations and what was said. Um, yeah, can't wait. So again, I'll put a link down in the description so you can you know, go watch this video yourself, learn more about the Soul Foundation if you're curious. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's dive into that. Now, one thing I will say 
um, about that video, which is, it's a small thing, but if you watch it back, they spelled David Grush's name wrong. So let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, not saying that's a bad thing, right? I'm just, where is it? Find David Grush here. Right there. All right, hang on. Again, just odd. Why would they get his name wrong? This is why we have the Soul Foundation. Uh, we need to basically... David G-R-U-S-H. That is not how you spell his name. There's a C before the H. Right? So, uh, that's interesting. I don't know. He's a co-founder, like, and he's a whistleblower. But to be fair to the editor, okay, they were having some editing issues. The people making this video and all this, Gary was a little confused on how that all worked. So, um, and I've edited myself, and sometimes things just fall through the cracks, man. So, I'm sure they were rushing to get this out so everybody could see it, and, you know, it just got overlooked, and it happens. So, I'm just saying, yeah, I see it from both sides, you know, uh, you know, but yeah, definitely get that name right. And I would re-upload this video, to be honest with you, to fix that because it's going to be up there forever and it's wrong and people are going to notice that. I'm just saying, it's, it's just interesting. Um, all right, let's go to this here. So again, this is an... Um, Dr. Gary Nolan in a Twitter X space being asked about like, hey, what are you up to with the Soul Foundation, right? And he begins to talk about what him and David Grush are doing. All right, so it's kind of interesting. Let's play it here. Dave and I are working um, on uh, basically hope, bringing together volunteers and putting together a little volunteer army uh, of people because we can't do everything. Um, and so, uh, we're, we're still organizing that we want to organize the organizers. Uh, so that's probably the most immediate future. Um, you know, Dave is fantastic to work with. I mean, there's, I, I just, you, you just got, you just got to know the sincerity of the man. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you get to know him, um, yeah, it's just like, why would someone like this spend so basically his whole life now uh, doing this? Uh, because it has so much detriment to him if he were proven to be lying. So he's, it's great to work with him. Um, and Carl as well. I mean, Carl's just the, the two of them are spectacular uh, to work with together. So I, I actually feel kind of strangely blessed to be associated with these people and we're all learning from each other mostly what i'm learning are all these acronyms you know when carl and dave get talking about all these programs and policy things that just like just the acronyms fly like i've never seen before but i mean they know their stuff and i would love to see the three of them or the two of them and sean kirkpatrick in a room uh and uh i i think it would be Somebody would be left in a in a puddle of goo. Houses. Shots fired. Um, let's kind of go over this video a little bit um, before I kind of give my final thoughts here. Right, I'll just do it with the video. Um, I'm going to mute it. Just so we can point out some things. It's kind of interesting, like who's in the crowds. Right? So let's see here. There's Diana, oh, right, Diana Pasolka right there. We just covered her in a video yesterday. Um, there's Car Dr. Carl Nell, right? You can see uh, Danny Sheehan in the back here. This gentleman was speaking. I don't know who he is. Um, he was towering over Dr. Gary Nolan. Um, and I don't know who else. Who else do y'all see in this picture? You know. Now, supposedly, there were, like, people from certain three-letter agencies there, 
CIA, FBI, who knows what else, um, potentially. Now, you know, again, I think they're trying to bridge the gap, right, and create so, some sort of a company that can liaison, right, between the private um, space and the, the public space, right, the government. Um, so, yeah. This is like the Galileo Project, in my opinion. Like, I want to support things like this, if I'm being honest. All right, regardless of what you believe, I mean, this is just a serious approach to studying unidentified anomalous phenomena. And I see nothing wrong with that. Uh, Avi Loeb there. I interviewed Avi Loeb on the channel, one of my first interviews that I did on this channel. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. This is way before David Grush and all that stuff, but... Um, would love to hear that speech, right? So everyone's meeting. You got Leslie Kane there. Obviously, we saw her. Right. Uh, one other thing I saw, Jacques Vallée. God, All right, that's got to be a great conversation. Yeah, I mean, you had Dr. Gary Nolan sitting in front there, right? Watching everybody. I mean, everyone just stuffed in there. I don't know where it is, but I did see Jesse Michaels in one of the shots. So a lot of people there, all right? A lot of people there. Again, I'll put links to all this in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Um, and curious to hear everyone's thoughts, right? There's some people saying, oh, David Grush isn't working for Soul. Well, he clearly is. Him and Gary Nolan are looking to start a volunteer army, right? They need help with the Soul Foundation. Um, and yeah, that's what they're currently doing right now. So maybe that is what is holding up David Grush in his op-ed potentially. I don't know. Um, one thing I will say is that David Grush is not on the soul foundation website, like at all. Um, there's a people section and he's not on there and they've got all these other people. So I don't know why it's just him and David Grush looking for volunteers. There's all these other people on there who are supposedly part of this. I don't know why they're not helping. But whatever. I'm not running this thing, so they know what they're doing. So, yeah. Um, that was a good video, y'all. So, curious to see where this goes. And again, can't wait for the other presentations. Um, yeah. So, all right. I've, I've, I've really got nothing else left to say here. Um, I support that message and I want to see the rest. So, again, if you watch this far and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, y'all. Again, new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will see y'all tomorrow, vetters. Remember, every day's a gift. Peace!